All right, so we left off in the consumer's analysis. Let, let's move on now. Okay. Okay, now let's analyze the na national laws from a tariff in the small country. Again, a small country is a country whose trade patterns do not alter the, the terms of trade. So it has no impact on the world price. That's why we see their supply as perfectly elastic as a horizontal line. Now, uh, something to remember. When the government places a tariff on an import, the domestic price of the import product rises. That happens no matter what. Now, as long as the tariff is not so high as to prohibit all imports, saying other countries just won't won't produce their won't sell their products here because it's not worth it because they're not making any profit. It brings revenues to the um, country's government since it's collecting tax on everything it imports. The government's tax on um, tariff revenue is equal to the unit amount of the tariff times the value of imports which um, which, uh, which receives from the tariffs. Um, it is an element of national gain to be weighted in with the consumer loss and the producer's gains from the tariff. So from that we get this little equation which is total surplus equals consumer surplus plus producer surplus plus government tariff revenue. Now, um, what area um, represents the government's tariff revenue? As you can see here, we have uh, a case of a small country, since the supply curve is horizontal, as you can see. Um, the tariff, it, it was a $30 tariff going up, Pro um, producers won, producers of domestic supply, and consumers lost. And now the tariff, which the government is going to collect, is represented by the area by this rectangle C here. Now, how much of the revenue does the government collect? All you have to do is find the area of C, which is the area of rectangle, which is length times width. So, um, it'll be S1.8 minus 0 0.4, 0 0.6 times 330 minus 30 will be 30. 30 times 0 0.6 will give you the amount. Um, what is the producer effect from overproducing now? As a result of the tariff, the producers won from here to here, so they're overproducing. So what is the effect? B. This is a dead weight loss. And what is the consumer effect of underconsuming? They'll be right here. D. So as tariff goes up, we do have two debt weight losses as we analyzed as we, as we analyzed before. B and D, the government's tax revenue, which is C, and A, which is what the producers gain and the amount of surplus that consumers lost as well. Okay, now this on these two diagrams show the net national loss from a tariff in the small country. As you can see, there's no supply curve right here because it's a small country. It does not alter the trade, the, the terms of trade. So it has to, the he has to, they have to take the price. They cannot do anything about it. So what do consumers lose? Before, when the price was could be thirty, consumers had A, B, C, D, F, and E of surplus. Now with a new tariff imposed, this is a price right now. They only have E and F. So what the consumers lose? A, B, C, and D. All this area, which is the result of the government's tariff. What do producers gain? Well, producers before only had G, now they have A. So they gain a substantial amount of, of surplus from the consumer. What does the government gain? The government gains C, which is the difference between the debt weight losses. That's what the government gain. And what is the net national loss or debt weight loss from the tariff will be B plus D, which will equal this. So if you trace this, being this equilibrium, no trade, let's say it's 375. So at 375, there's no need for imports. So there's no trade. Now, when 
the price is 300 consumers demand a thousand oh not a thousand one million quantity of imports now as the tariff is imposed 330 consumers are only demanding 6.6 .6 of a million or 600,000 imports so actually tariff actually restraints the consumers satisfaction or the consumers wanting to to want imports allowed in their countries tariff actually dislocates that that feeling as you can see the debt weight loss shows up this triangle right here and C is the offset of the garment surplus now with this large country case we will see how we can actually see where the tariff is imposing because here the tariff is all on the on the consumer the consumer pays the entire tariff as you can see the thirty dollars the consumer pays it now things will change um the terms of trade effect and optimal tariff large country case we'll get to this right now